Well, we are officially walking on ice. We are on the lake. Good morning, everybody. Look at this. Yeah, the lake is still frozen. It's warmer right now. During daytime, it kind of softens the snow a little. And we are on the trail. Just cross the lake. should have my crampons but I don't well you guys good morning again it's a beautiful it's Easter Sunday and I just did a little bit of hike. Gotta be careful because it's a little bit icy. No crampons on me. But wow, what a peaceful morning. And that's the lake we're gonna cross right now. Wow, yeah. There you go. But it's getting uh, softer and softer because the weather is warming up. But interestingly, the lake is still uh, pretty solid. Pretty solid. But anyway, you guys look at that beautiful view there. But what I wanted to say to build out that beautiful bus, I took on some sponsorship and today video is sponsored by Outdoor Master Papa Beach Tent. Outdoor Master. Okay, and let me show you something here, you guys, because I already opened this one up, probably you guys already know that. But check this out. That's fine. Look at that. What do you guys say? Look at that, right? Really nice. Now, you can use it as a cabana, enjoy the sunshine, right? Stay in the shade, stay nice and dry, or if you really want to, you know, if you are in the pinch because it's easy to carry and it's pretty light, you can also use it as a tent. Look at that. But as you guys know, my lovely wife is Asian. She cannot stand the sun. She's actually allergic to sun. If she stays out on the sun, she has some breakouts on her skin. So she has to stay away. But I do love the sun. So in order for her to come out with me, this is it. This is it, you guys. Look at how beautiful this is. Okay, and like I said, you know, this, uh, you know, protects you from the wind, from the sun. And you can also tent if you wish, like, because you can easily sleep in here, two people. Now, it might not be the perfect thing to do, but in the summertime, oh, yes, absolutely. Look at this, you know. I can sleep right here, right here, no problem, nice and shady, right? So, like I said, I'm going to put the links in the description, you guys, you know, master outdoor, but it's so simple to put it up. It actually just pops up and closes up in the same way as the carry-on bag, 
it's very lightweight what else can i say links in the description you guys go check it out and actually it's a good price it's cheap really cheap and the material really nice and uh, let me tell you double stitching all all the edges impressed very well built very well built and like i said you guys you don't believe me you wanna you want a tent in here you can also do that okay now you see me now you don't <laughs> yeah look at that so it has dual purpose you know and you also got air coming in and even if it rains because the way it's stitched here at the outside the water will go nicely outside and you also have the packs you can pack it let me just uh, show you that section too but you can also have this just like that have a picnic so just a quick recap you guys you also have the packs you can pack it or you have the sandbags that you can fill it up with sand or rock so the wind won't take it away this is like a beach cabana or you can also easily sleep in it in the summertime obviously you know because it's very well built easy to carry easy to put it back together so yeah i'm really impressed with the quality it's really really nicely built you know everything it's like smooth easy to put it back together okay so just push down then you want to close it that's it simple as that Yesterday was really, really busy here, almost full, the parking lot. Well, today it's still early, but it was only four of us in here. Only four of us. But probably it's still too early too. Look at that, right? So we are back in the beautiful house here, you guys. It's cold outside. But my lovely wife is gonna make something really, really delicious. Looks like chicken. We have some uh, sweet bell pepper, some onions, some cheese and some of these guys here wow That's what you're gonna wrap. okay cheers there we go <laughs> bam oh yeah oh no it's i should you right on oh, okay. um so i just need some information for okay. a reservation what was your first name Okay, so check these guys out. Have you guys ever seen a bus opening like this? Isn't this amazing? But look, let me show you something. Yes, okay, baby, look at this. We got 600 amp power power. I mean, lots of juice. But you guys want to see all the rest? Check this out. Beautiful. All Vectron. Look at that, you guys. Wow. Right? So, if you want to, you know, run a lot of commodities in the house, go get them. That's okay. 
for sure, hundred percent. But look at this door. Look at the door. Look at that, you guys. And then I mean, like, look, you can just stand out here. Now you have an awning over your head, right? Yeah. And then it's perfect. Protects you from the rain if you need to work in the garage. Not like when you open the door and everything is coming on you. Beautiful. Look at that. Just close. Wow. Did you guys heard the sound? Beautiful. So we are at Lanet. Yep, that's right. There you guys have it. Check this bus out. So if you want to say a couple of words, you know, the year and the model and why you decided to go with the bus. Absolutely. So this yeah. is a 1992 Ford E350. Mm -hmm. I bought it in Edmonton. It was a church bus at one point. And then somebody bought it to do dog rescues and couldn't because of COVID for whatever reason and decided to get rid of it. And when I saw it on Facebook Marketplace, I fell in love with it because of all the windows. Mm -hmm. Sold me on it, had it checked out, got it for a steal. And uh, that was in November of 2021. Gutted it completely down to the bare frame. Took all the rust off the frame, cleaned it up. And then just started building and it took almost two years i finished it october well it's not done it's never done but i finished it october 1st mm -hmm. and then hit the road oh nice God. they let you do this oh. yeah this actually came out oh, of my, look at that. this That's is an it. ikea cabinet it came out of my kitchen and i yeah. had to cut it down smaller to fit in here but it's beautiful though. but it is and it's tons of storage lynette when so nice you see by doing by yourself yeah. You know, Just a amazing. quick recap, yeah. where have you been? We have been wintering on Vancouver Island. So we left Calgary the 1st of October. Uh -huh. And then we took almost a month to get out to the island. And now we're taking almost a month to get back to Calgary. Awesome. Where we'll stay just for a couple of weeks and then hit the road again. And I'm not really sure. Nice. Maybe Newfoundland. Oh. Maybe, maybe the Yukon. I'm not sure. Yeah. Oh, that's so we're nice. We're going to travel all summer and then head back to the island for the winter again. Oh, then I'm going to be there. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to be yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, we're going to see you. I, I like, look at that. Look uh, at the ninja, eh? Uh, the air fryer. Yeah. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. No, we yeah. love the air fryer. Oh, I, yeah. I, so it, good. So convenient. So yeah. easy. So you don't use propane? No, I have no propane on board. That Just the little propane tanks for, yeah. for a single burner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Coffee in the yeah, 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 that's yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Same thing. I didn't want to mess with propane i don't know enough yeah. about it I don't, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm a little yeah. bit afraid so you guys have an idea what this is check it out look at the size right and it's all his fault <laughs> oh look Your at how baby. cute look at how cute he is in there look at that oh so sweet He's having a time of his life yes. but yeah you guys this is a full stand-up freezer and the reason why because he has very significant food allergies and can only eat kangaroo and elk, oh. which is hard to come by. Mm -hmm. So when I get it, I need to buy as much as I can mm -hmm. and stock a freezer with it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then what's ours there? Look at that. That's just like my fridge freezer, ice cold. Yeah, that's mine. Yes. <laughs> my, that's my freezer, the little one. And Stella, <laughs> what are you saying, honey? She says, I can eat anything, but I still take a it's room okay. in the freezer. <laughs> oh, you're so sweet. You're so sweet. Look at your master, Stella. <laughs> I'm only in the kitchen. <laughs> there you go. Well, I hear you're a very good cook. <laughs> Sir. Lynette, I don't know nothing about inside of a <laughs> bowl. Papa, how to... <laughs> That's insane so this is a homemade you good, guys eh? yeah. yeah it looks actually amazing you know and so you i have to it. try that out and not not your toilet i mean <laughs> yeah that is so sweet so it's just a walkable um yeah very convenient yep. <laughs> nice <laughs> wow. i was pretty proud of that idea
Anyway, thank you, Lanette, for inviting us in your beautiful home. Have a safe trip. We are gonna hit the road to you guys, so we'll see you on the road. Anyway, you guys, that's all I'm gonna have for you in this one. I really appreciate your love. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Till then, be safe, be well, be happy. Peace out.